it's Ione here from 30 Ever After. So today we're addressing the apps you should be using if you're looking for a serious relationship. So I've got three, stay tuned and find out what they are. Okay, so the first is Coffee Meets Bagel. Now, I was pleasantly surprised because I've mentioned Coffee Meets Bagel before and the main point of difference is you get one match a day. So that was, that was kind of it, but they have been redesigned to um, be the anti-Tinder in the dating app world. So instead of, um, they do not, they no longer have likes or dislikes, you, there's no longer um, an option to swipe left or swipe right, you know, because it, those features like that, it just makes, it takes the person out of, out of dating. Like it's, you're just looking at pictures and it becomes very superficial, which is great. I mean, if you're, if you're looking for a hookup, then Tinder is great for that. Right. But we're talking about apps that help people find relationships and really connect. And these are people who maybe struggle to find people in real life. Maybe they're in their late twenties and thirties and everyone's settled down. Like people who are downloading these apps are looking for, um, something more long-term. So I think that they, their redesign is great. They have been able to um, encourage people to comment on each other's profile before making a match because you only get ma one match a day. Um, so you want to make it count. So what happens is uh, they will pull info like, you know, oh, so-and-so has a dog. Why don't you ask them about the dog or, or tell them about yours? Or if um, someone's uh, left in a comment that they've just traveled all over the world, they can say, hey, Ben, hey, Ben, Alice has just traveled around the world. Why don't you ask her about it? So these writing prompts really encourage you to have a conversation before a match is made. So highly recommend Coffee Meets Bagel. And personally, several of my students have found their person and are still with their person just from um, this app. So definitely one to check out. Um, and they're all about, you know, slow, slow dating. So you know how the slow eating, everything is slow. Um, it's just really all about um, taking the time to be present and connect in your relationships. And I think what these three apps are doing is great. Okay, the second one is I've written a lot about is Hinge. So Hinge is also um, positioned to help people find relationship. And what I like about them is they will ask you um, a ton of questions about what you're looking for, uh, what you're looking for in a partner, whether you want kids, whether you want like all the serious questions that you would ask on a date, they've asked you beforehand, but it's less intense than eHarmony. I'm not sure if any of you have taken the eHarmony quiz because it's meant to make, be like matching people by science, but that survey takes about a good hour and a half to two hours to complete and some people just can't be bothered. So Hinge uh, makes it really easy. You can do it on an app and it takes about like 10-15 minutes. Um, and they match you with people who may be looking for marriage and maybe and want to have kids. So um, I like that as well. Also there's a lot uh, more to the profile so you get to know their hobbies, their passions. Also writing uh, write funny, funny and fun writing prompts. Um, that make writing a profile a lot less daunting. Um, you don't need to have to be creative. A lot of the times people um, leave the profile section blank because they're not a good writer, they don't know what to say, but yeah, this, these apps um, help you out. All you have to do is just fill in the blank. So you can talk about your favorite food or you know, if you die tomorrow, tomorrow this would be your biggest regret. Um, if foods you can eat uh, every day of your life, uh, your favorite movie was, you know, things like that and um, sort of like icebreakers. So also recommend Hinge. Uh, this came to me from another reader of mine who actually found her boyfriend through Hinge. So that's how I first found out about this. So thanks Amy for recommendation. Okay, so this third one is new. Um, I've only come across it and I, I think they're still growing um, their users and they still have a couple of bugs to, bugs to fix from reading the reviews. But their premise is very similar to Coffee Meets Bagel. So once is you get one match a day and you've got 24 hours to connect with each other. Um, but the point of difference is that the matches are made um, from actual matchmakers. So they look at your profile, they look at what you're working, looking, looking for, and they match you up with the uh, most appropriate person based on your values, um, what you're looking for, and distance. So how it works is you have to comment um, comment and rate the, the profiles you come across and that helps them determine you know what would be a good match for you. So some days you might get matches further than further from you, some some days you might not. 
Um, it really it depends on the amount of users. So this is a little bit different. It's kind of like a hybrid between an online dating app and a matchmaking service, but definitely one to watch. Um, I don't think this one is quite mature yet in terms of its usability and um, the amount of users it has, but definitely one to download and maybe have in the background. So um, a lot of the questions I get asked is how many apps should I be on at the same time? And I say, you know, try two at a time because um, each app kind of caters for a different audience. So you might get a different, different pools of matches, but you don't want to be the person who's on every single app that, you know, that other people recognize you as, oh, I've seen her before, or I see, I've seen him before. So stick to two to, to begin with and um, see how these two go. So if you have any new dating apps for me to review, anything that I should know of, Please um, leave a note in the comments and thanks for watching. I'll be back with more reviews soon.